Okay, well, I got the, the canopy out and the uh, pool table all cleared off. I'm ready for my uh, my next uh, project. Um, basically, this is what happened. Um, this had so much bend to it that it it actually broke off from that. And so I came up with an idea about maybe making up an aluminum aluminum disc similar to I made up a mark a mock-up with this uh, uh, drapery pole it's an inch and a half pole um, and I what I did I just drilled the holes big enough where it, it's kind of like a press fit and I actually tried it out and you can see the angle on this is more I'm not having that big bend in it like before so I'm hoping that's gonna take care of my problem plus the fact I decided I'm gonna go to a bigger fiberglass this bigger end which uh, created a little bit of problem because that is too small up in here so what I had to do is I had to drill this out and but it fits in there I, I got the set screw set down too far but this is ready to rock and roll so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make new poles they're going to be heavier poles they're the same size as the back now which will make it better I'm going to go ahead instead of making this aluminum I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some a regular uh, one and a half inch dowel and I'm probably going to cut it to like maybe an inch and a half instead of two inches and then drill my holes and then I think I'm just going to glue it uh, I think it'll work because fiberglass and wood why not except for this this part's metal but uh, I think the glue will hold it very well we can try it and if that don't work then I can go with the, the aluminum mount and that way I can put set screws on the aluminum too so but I think I'm just going to do that and then paint them like orange or something you know you know put resin on them so they uh, paint up real good I might even put a little fiberglass on them I don't know We'll get to that bridge when we get to it, but I think that's how I'm going to do this project. So that way I can get going on it. Only thing I got to go down and get is some uh, dowel at uh, Home Depot, some inch and a half dowel, and uh, we'll go from there. Get back to the canopy part. I went ahead and um, I cut these, um, and I uh, drilled out the holes, and I got the uh, the hardware on it. That what mounts onto the to the bar, and uh, that well, that would be kind of the concept right there. Okay, well, I got a I had a change in plans here. Uh, this is the fiberglass um, pole I cut, and this was came off of a, like one of those safety flag. Uh, poles and then uh, I found this this is uh, from a whip that I had on my uh, ATV and I had a quad and um, it's more uh, it's made better it, it's it's had it's more dense than this I, I mean when I cut through this is like cutting through butter uh, this is a little bit more uh, dense plus I need to paint it anyway and so I went ahead and did both the poles and I shortened them a little bit because the other ones were a little bit too long. So I did that. So these are ready to be painted now. And uh, I decided on this part here, I think I'm just going to go wider, like about that much on both sides. So I'll be able to stick a piece glue a piece into each side you know from that side to that side to give it some stability and only that uh, I'm gonna mount this with these these eyelet kind of uh, straps and uh, I just got to get the right size for this for this and uh, what I want to do is I want to be able to slide that through and uh, this is the back drape that goes on it. That's the back drape that goes on the 
back of the bike. So this is kind of like upside down. So this is basically like that. And then that shows on the back side. So it's kind of cool. It's just a little back drape that I can roll up, take it out of the way. Or if I want the privacy or the sun's on me or something, I can roll it down. Okay, well, uh, I got my, <laughs> my doll rod. <laughs> to get like almost nine feet of it <laughs> that's right we use it for drapery up hole for the uh this french door over there anyway anyway so uh i cut my piece and uh, what i did was uh i uh drilled the holes that i needed while i was you know while i was still together because now i need to do now is just cut this in half this is ready to rock and roll. Well, um, I made up my little blocks here and uh, down over there, and I went ahead and put this this pole in, and uh, it's it's pretty much ready to rock and roll. I didn't glue anything in. Uh, these are not even painted yet. I just kind of I kind of shaped these a little bit. And I'll be finishing these up a little bit better, make them nice, and uh, I'm going to paint these orange. I'm going to paint these black, this is going to be black, all this will be black, this will be black, and I think I'm going to paint these either black here and orange on the ends, which I think that would probably be pretty cool too. Well, um, I got the rods painted, I got the blocks done on both sides. This rod here, i got to finish painting that one, but um, these are pretty dry. Uh, both the both the blocks are dry. This is fairly dry. These rods are still a little bit tacky. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and and uh, glue this all up. This this rod, this the way it is. I, I got to get a mallet and mallet it on, but uh, glue it all up except for these two rods. Uh, I'm going to leave those rods. Um, I'm going to take them out because they're going to have to be cut anyway. So I just want to get this all glued up and then I'll just uh, finish painting this all up while it's on here. But it's it's getting there. It's looking pretty good. I think once I get the orange on the ends that I want to do, it's going to look really cool. Well, um, the uh, <clears throat> this part's all glued up and it's all painted. I just put these poles in these are the going to be the front poles I just put these in so I can check the alignment and make sure that these are lining up fairly well not too bad and uh, I just want to point out something what I did here is uh, you see that's pretty center you look at this side and it's a little off center uh, the reason why I did that I made them a little off center is because I want it uh, to act like a, like a sway bar or torsion bar just to help with the, the wiggling to make it more sturdy. Uh, hopefully it's not going to make the, the canopy all cockeyed and stuff so we'll find out when this dries. It's still a little tacky so I'll probably be uh, uh, Test fitting that here and probably tomorrow. Okay, this kind of give you the, the top view. It looks on the top. So that's kind of what it's going to look like. And it doesn't look too bad, you know. Looks pretty decent. Um, I ran out of paint. So it does need another uh, coat of paint. I need to go over it with this. Uh, what is it? I got some 600 so I got to go over it with some 600 and then paint it again I think I went over the last one I went over with a 220 that's what it was so I'm just gonna go down the 600 or 400 I, I got 600 so I'm just gonna use 600 anyway and uh, it's real easy to tape off so, so I can tape it off and repaint it you know take it off the bike of course and paint it so yeah put some more and then I need to get some orange paint but uh, it's it's getting there little by little already uh, we're ready to test fit this thing so what I've done is I uh, put myself up a couple of uh, 
poles there to set the top on while I set, set the back end. So hopefully it's just going to be as simple as picking this up. This is how I generally install it and take it off. Guiding these bars down behind these seat right here and then let it rest just like that and then uh, we'll start putting the back together got those mixed up a little bit okay let's go ahead and take this screw out it's a long ass screw fine thread too strong strong screw through no problem and that screws in don't take some of the I want to get across there so I believe I got it No. Okay, moving on to uh, the next step, the front rod. Okay, uh, let's see, this is the one I got ready. Yes. Okay. Now there's no real particular way you can either go that way or that way I like going this way uh, I don't mind going this way I'm thinking about how to get a screwdriver in there now I can always move that and get in there that way so I prefer them this way they look better so I'm gonna go ahead and get a get I don't want to pinch that that's my it's my air horn Okay, so I got that kind of where I want it, sort of. Just want to line it up. There's that hole. Okay, and you can see this is obviously way too long. Unless I want to run that all the way down like that. And then even then, it's it might be all right once I push it down. But I'd rather just cut it. That's way too long. That's way too high. I like the, the chop look. So I'm thinking you know, just kind of eyeball this and you cut one, you measure it and cut that one to match. I think that looks good. That's about where it was before. So I predicted about six inches, and that's what it looks like it's going to be about. I'm just going to hold on to that right there. I'm sliding this off. Hold that. I'll give myself a little extra because, you know, too much isn't just enough. Okay, give myself a little extra. Yeah. And I'm going to size this now. And see if I like that. And if I do, I'll sort of hook it up. Okay, well, um, I got the canopy all pretty much dialed in. Uh, it's all glued in um, up here. Everything's, I, I got it where I want it. 
I like that chop look. Um, you can see it's it's a lot more sturdier than it was because it used to really flim. I mean, I did that and it's shaped for <laughs> quite a long, long while. But you can see actually the bar on the bar on the bike, the bike actually rocks. So that's pretty rock solid, and I think it's going to work out just fine. I took it for a little ride around the block. I went over a bunch of bumps. I didn't have these uh, glued in yet because I, you know, I had to cut. I cut off close to eight inches. This was my first cut, and I wasn't happy, and I cut another two and a half off of it just to kind of give it a chop look. And uh, anyway, that's that's it. This that looks good. And. Uh, See even in the front, see even in the back, see even on the sides. Uh, this torsion bar idea I had worked out great, uh, or sway bar worked out great. So, so it has actually two bars. It has one here and one here. There's two of them there, so it really helps. All right, that project is done. I just need to shampoo the top. All right, well, I got the uh, canopies all finished. Uh, what I did is I, uh, on the front, right here, I put on this uh, balance. And the purpose of this is to help keep the sun out of my eyes. Because you remember my uh, design here. So what I did is I just took some, uh, this is vinyl and I just uh, fold it in half and glued it together. It's ten and a half inches wide. So basically what it does is it gives me a two and a half inch drop which is perfect for my eyes for the horizon. Let me sit in it. You know. This would be my eye level right here. And then if I, the sun gets my eyes a little bit I can tip my head up a little bit like that and keep, keep, keep the sun on my eyes. It's perfect. And like I said if it gets where the sun's like right dead in my eyes and I can drop this down another there we go I can drop it down that far and raise my head up like that so I think that's going to work out just fine for me uh, I put a, a wood pole in the center it's a three I think it's a half inch or three eighths pole you know wood pole and it's glued in there so it won't come out. And then I just uh, uh, cemented it all up in here. And it sticks real good, so it's, that's not gonna come off. So that's parts done. That's something I've been wanting to do. Well, actually, that's something that came up because I didn't want to lower this any lower than what it is in the front. And I had that big gap there and I figured why not cover it up, so it worked out fine. That works out fine. And the other thing is the the back drape is all on. I used to do a lot of drapery work and uh, upholstery work and for the studios. So I feel comfortable about doing this kind of stuff. It doesn't really bother me that much. Uh, but uh, it was uh, when those rods snapped on front, I'm going, oh my God. But you know, $54 canopy. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, I think it looks great. I'm going to try it out this evening when the sun goes down a little bit and see how that works for me. But I'm pretty sure it's going to work just fine. Yeah, stupid dog next door. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd give you an update um, on my quadricycle, um, on the visor. I uh, put this uh, this orange fabric in here because uh, you know how uh, a dashboard you know glares off the window and you get well I was getting glare off that really bad so uh, I came up with that and I just put some bead on there just to, to hold it and uh, yeah it's a lot better than what it was so now I don't get that glare I went out there whoa uh, another thing I did is uh, my uh, spinner uh, I fixed it it's working real good uh, the only thing is I used to have it up here uh, 
and it just kept slipping off. It, no matter how much I shimmed this up and how tight I got that, it just kept slipping off. And no, I didn't like it there. Um, I put it on the inside here, so that way when I come down, I, you know, it, it doesn't bother with my knees, because if it was on this side, it might bother with my knees. So uh, being on the inside is a lot better than being over on this side. So that worked out really good, and you can see that works real good. And then uh, I operate the handbrake with my uh, right hand, and I steer it with my left. And being a butterfly, it's real easy to, to turn it. So that's something new I did. And uh, I sort of got the back drape kind of all set in the back. Uh, right now I just got it up here with clamps. So it's all removable. I just uh, take off the clamps. This one's kind of dedicated to hold the bottom. And uh, that's how it comes off. And I just hang this in the garage or I can roll it up. And stick it in here, that's temporary anyway. I don't use it that often. But it's nice to have it, you know, if you need it. Um, so that's how that works. I'm gonna put these in the, my little backpack here. Don't lose those. But eventually I will uh, get those on the ring, so. Um, I think that's about it, other than the lights. I already showed you the lights before. Uh, that's pretty much, oh yeah, there is one other thing. Um, my seat cushion or my back cushion um, this is a, a two inch memory foam and how this works these have straps right here and here and here and all the way down at the bottom down here and that's how you tighten up the uh, the back you know for your well during the winter time it gets really cold so uh, I put this on and uh, all I did is I just glued the edges. There's no glue on the front or on the back. So, so that way I don't have any contact with the glue. So I just glued it on the edges and on the bottom edge and on that edge over there. So it's removable. You just uh, undo the straps, pull it out. So during the summertime, I'll probably just take it out, keep my back cool. But during the wintertime, it's nice. And it helps with the back too, because sometimes uh, you can hit on these bars, especially over in the port on the side over here, it hurts. So, uh, so that's something I added. Um, I think that's it.